Good morning and good day, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Hope you all having a great and a very blessed Sunday. I love Sundays. They're the best day of the week. It's the day where we praise God the most. So amen. Praise God. Be glad you're alive. All glory goes to God, guys. Now, I'm going to show you all the models and show you how to find these storms. Uh, lots of people want to complain that I'm only doing one model. So I'm going to show you all the models. Uh, the main thing you got to know about low pressure systems is it's more than just going to NOAA and say, hey, NOAA don't have anything. So there is nothing. Okay. Do your own informant. Do your own investigation, guys. There's more ways to look for a low pressure. You look for temperatures. You look for winds. I mean, there's convective activity with a low pressure system. I'll show you. Good day to you all. Please like the video if this helped you today. And after you're finished, and I'll show you all the information to show you where this system is and that it is being picked up on all these uh, models, please share the information to your loved ones just to inform them that something could be happening soon. Okay, first I'm going to go through the, the 10 meter damage and winds on the GFS model right here on WSV3. Then I'm going to close it out and I'm going to show you all the other models. Now you can see it right here is starting to pick up. This is the first uh, area to watch that they have at NOAA. I'll show you that as well. Uh, the most intense part of this storm seems to be in the, the high 20s, low 30s as it passes by the islands. It seems like it is going to dissipate. Now, as the second one comes through, this is the one I've been talking about. The second one and this third one. This third one, I'll show it's going to fuse up. But the second one is the one we've been watching all this time. Now, if you keep watching it, you'll notice that this pocket stirs up underneath it. Now, this pocket that you see is dry air. And I've been wondering why it's been heading more northerly than what's been shown in the other models because the area to watch is in this direction. It's because the pocket of dry air was pushing it forward and upwards if you watch it as it goes through it keeps it away from puerto rico it's the way i show so far it keeps it away keeps it north then once it gets past it the pocket of dry air moves into the gulf and it's able to breathe a little more and then when you watch it, it just shoots up north around the dry air tries to make its way in and then as it gets closer it does a westerly push and then it still does a little easterly turn at the at the end of it see that little turn right there so that it's still showing power. It, it is still showing that it's still going to be a hurricane. Uh, this is damaging winds. This is 10 meter sustained winds. But it's still showing it has an easterly push as well. So let's keep hoping on that. Now let me get you to all the other models. Now here's your first one. Well let me go to that one last. That one I got to teach you how to read these things evidently to some people. Because they want to just sit there and be negative And not listen to the information. So this one right here, this is your G CFS radar. This is your climate uh, radar. And you can see the blow pressure over here. This is on a 348th hour. I'm not going to all these crazy hours down here. But I'm just trying to show you where I can sh show it to you on every uh, piece of, of model that they have. So if you go in and check out the precipitation rate, you'll see it over here. In the bottom, 1,003 millibars as it moves up. You'll see that it does go down at 1,001, goes down to 9.99, and this one it goes down to 9.98, and it starts moving over uh, Miami, Florida is what it looks like in that that general area. That's what this model is showing. Now, as it continues to move forward, it looks like it goes into the Gulf for a minute, then it goes towards Tallahassee. You can see it curve right there towards Tallahassee. It starts strengthening up a little bit. It gets down to 998 millibars. And it starts moving on land. Now, this is according to this one model. It starts moving across land. It starts heading up through all the other states. And then it's going to head out back to the East Coast uh, according to this model here. You can see it move up, 1,001, 1,002. The numbers are going up. That's good. That means it's weakening. 1,003. And it moves up through the northeast. It goes, starts strengthening again back down to 1,000 again. And then it starts heading back out into the ocean. And there it goes. That's according to that model data. This is your GFS model. Okay, and this one, I'm picking it up on the temperatures. Now, I'll, I'll show you why. But you can see here that the wind barbs are starting to get into a circular uh, formation. This is around a 222nd hour. On the next day, you can see it starting to form up. 
and that's starting to get even more of a, a, a circulation right there around the, the pressure. And on the next day, you can see it doing something. On the next day, it starts growing, and it's either blowing out or it's, or, uh, it's moving along. And sure enough, the next day, you can see the system right here. It is moving along. It's weakening. It's getting smaller. And by this time, the jet stream should be hitting it uh, fiercely. And it does. It moves it all the way up. Now, your model here, this is GFS high resolution. Just so you know which model I'm running on. So you can follow along. Now, this is your system down here. Now, this is another way that you find low pressures. If your if you're, if you're Euro okay, is not showing a low pressure system. And I'm just pointing that out because a lot of people point out to Euro because it's not showing. But Euro only does so many hours in the future. It don't do further looks. But if it don't show low pressure systems, just go to temperature. Okay, another way to follow a low pressure system is temperature. Because when you have your, your sea level, okay, there's the MSLP, the mean sea level pressure. Now, this is the atmosphere at sea level. And the, the average pressure is 1,000. 13 millibars so everything's average 1013 millibars and when you have a low pressure there'll be like a bump down and and the pressure and that's that's where you find your lows at because the numbers are going down below 1013 another way to look at it is when you have convective activity which is in a tropical storm which is in storms period when it when it starts getting convection the, the water gets cooler on the surface of the ocean because the, the warm water is not sitting, it is rising and it's getting pulled up and it's cooling down the center core of the storm. If you look, you can see the water is 84, 83. But if you go over to the center core, it goes down to 79. And watch as it moves. Let me get you a better shot. You'll see how it the center core here just down here. Just keep following, keep following this diagram right here. You'll see it grow as we go through the days. Right here, it looks like it starts to get towards the islands a little bit. It's still at 79, 78. It starts going down to 78 a little bit. It starts growing a little bit more. And you can see the temperature's difference. Now, when it, it takes a lot, it takes a lot of convective activity to change the temperature in the sea level one degree. A lot more than it does just regular winds. That's on the ground. Uh, it takes a lot for the sea level because the pressure has to equalize. But then it starts dropping down to 77. That means it's growing. It's getting more convective activity. The more cold air you have in the center core of this, the more convective activity you will be having. You see it starts doing like a northern push right past the islands. I'm just showing you how to follow this storm. It's down to 78. There it is right there. There it is right there. It's growing a little more. It's getting down to 77 degrees. There it is moving right there. It's growing. It's moving. Then it looks like it's dissipating. That, that would be the wind shear coming off right here. The wind shear is, is right here at 300 millibars, and it's pushing fast, and that's why it's spinning it out. But you can see it's getting down to 78, 77 degrees. It's, it's cold. There's, a lot, there's convection in the center of this. And as it moves out, it gets down to 74 right there, so it starts getting a lot of energy because actually the wind shear does create convection. It does pull up. So at the same time, it's creating convection, it's creating cooler temperatures in the center core of, of this storm that's going to be off the uh, east coast, is what it looks like so far. And it's still 74, it's still getting convection, and as it moves out, the, the wind shear does bring it out. Now this one right here is your Euro model. You always say, hey, you don't, I don't see it on a Euro model. I beg to differ with that. Now if you see right here, this is a, a low pressure system moving right here on a Euro model. Okay. You see it right here? It starts growing a little bit, and then it goes out. That's all that Euro model had, but it did show it to you. This is another Euro model, and if you can see, it only goes up to 240 hours on this one. This is the low-pressure system out here, and you can see it dropping in, in millibars and moving along. So how y'all saying y'all not seeing this on Euro? I say you're not looking hard enough. No offense. Now, this is your GDPS model. It picks it up right here. It is also moving along, picking, uh, dropping, dropping low pressure as it moves along. And I'll just click through so you can see it. And then it, then it showed it curved and then it moved out. So different models are showing different 
uh, outcomes, but they're both showing a, a westerly push. This is your UK Met model. You can see this, this, the, the circulation happening right here in front of you. And if you go to the next one, you can see the low pressure forms right there. There it is. And it's still showing, uh, still showing off the east coast. But it's showing it does do an easterly push. But there it goes going up. Starts getting the pressure below 1,013, so now it gets a number, 1,012. 1,013 is the average. 1,011, it strengthens, just like the other model showed, on its way out. Still too far away, so we don't know if this is really going to go out or if it's going to come in. I'm just showing you what I have now. Now, this is your NAM model. I want to make sure there's no discrepancies. You can see a low pressure system right here. And you can see it does grow and go out according to the low pressure uh, system of, of the NAM model. It gets down to 1,008, it gets picked up, and it moves away and weakens. You see the numbers rising, that means it's weakening. All right, now this one is your EPS model. Here's your system right there with your low pressure system. It loses pressure system as it moves up. That's all that one had, it only goes so far. This one is your GEF model. There's your, here's your low pressure. There's your system moving as it goes along. And then this one is your GEF V12 model. Now this is what I wanted to show you. Okay, this is the final shot I got for you. This is your low pressure system here. This right here is dry air. There's a plume of dry air that was underneath it. It moved in front of it and that's what makes it do that northern push. But as you see the days go by, I'm just gonna do this one forward. As you see the days go by, you'll see that the, the dry air diminishes, and this is all rainfall. Okay, you can find a storm system. If you can't find it by low pressure, you can't find it by the convection, you can't find it by the, by the temperature, you can find it by the heavy rainfall. Because that regular rainfall is all out here average, but this is heavy rainfall. So it's, it's, you can definitely find a, sto a storm system by following the heavy amounts of rainfall as it's moving. The dry air is still there on the next day, but the dry air starts diminishing. Starts diminishing as the storm gets even more rainfall in its center and it keeps moving on a westerly push. It diminishes. And if you watch right here, it actually broke it down a little bit. See, it weakened some because of all that fight with that dry air. But then the dry air is going to move along and this is going to grow back and start keep, uh, continuing on its uh, westerly push. There it is. And then it starts dissipating a little bit. I don't know what it wants to do when it gets towards those final days. But again, this is so far out. It's, it's really not dependable. But it, I'm just showing you that you can find this on every model. It's not hard to find. All you got to do is know how to look for what you're looking for. I mean, just sitting there putting a comment in the first 10 seconds as soon as a, a video is published, it's just going to make you look dumb. You should watch the video first. Because obviously you didn't watch the video because you commented within 10 seconds. Do you see the video before anybody else? <laughs> you know, I don't get it. But anyway, I wanted to update everybody on that because there's been a little contradiction on the models out in the comments. And there's been a lot of mean people. The mean people, I just ban them. There's no, there's no use for that. That's just complete nonsense. But I do mean it every time I say God bless every single one of you. I do hope that y'all have a great and the best day possible. And most of all, that God comes into your lives. That's the most important part of every day of our lives. It's not just weather, it's not our jobs, it's not paying bills, it's not our problems. We should be doing God's work as much as we can. And once you become aware of that, it's up to you to get going on that. God's busy working, you should be working as well. Now Psalms 11. In Jehovah I have taken refuge. How dare you men say to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain. For look, the wicked ones themselves bend the bow. They do make ready the arrow upon the bowstring to shoot in the gloom at the ones upright in heart. When the foundations themselves are torn down, what must any righteous do? Jehovah is in his holy temple. Jehovah in the heaven is his, in the heavens is his throne. His own eyes behold, his own beaming eyes examine the sons of men. Jehovah himself examines the righteous one as well as the wicked one. 
And anyone loving violence, his soul certainly hates. He will rain down upon the wicked one's traps, fire and sulfur, and a scorching wind as a portion of their cup. For Jehovah is righteous. He does love righteous acts. The upright are the ones that will behold his face. Amen. God bless you today. I hope you all have a great Sunday today. Amen. It's Love Sundays. Thank you again for watching. Please share if I helped you. Let people be notified of this possibility.